Hi, welcome in. September 21, Ungodly Counsel. Scripture reading, Proverbs 21, 1 Kings 12, verses 1 to 19. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will also cry himself and not be answered. Proverbs 21, verse 13. We read in scripture that King Solomon had a very robust building program in Israel. And it came at a great price. In order for him to accomplish his goals, he taxed his people heavily. So when his son Rehoboam took the throne, the people asked for mercy. 1 Kings 12 verses 1 to 19. Sadly, King Rehoboam refused to listen to the godly advice of the elders. He chose instead to do what his young advisors suggested, and the result was a rebellion that swept through the nation of Israel and tore it in two. What causes a person to listen to ungodly advice? Crucial mistakes often come as a result of selfish ambitions. We weigh our options and choose the ones that appeal to our personal self-interest. It's common for leaders to surround themselves with those who will agree with their plans, even if those plans ultimately lead to destruction. This may sound unbelievable, but it happens, and often. It certainly did for Reho Rehoboam uh, before he could be crowned as king. The people rebelled against his misguided power. 1 Kings 12 verse 19 tells us Israel has been in rebellion against the house of David to this day. Make sure the counsel you receive is from God. Don't be quick to react to the words of others. Instead, spend time in prayer asking the Lord to confirm, guide, and provide the wisdom you need and act in the loving, compassionate, and merciful manner he directs you to act no matter how difficult it may seem. Had the king listened to his godly advisors, the nation, at least for the time, would have remained united. Instead, Rehoboam's decision led to a costly mistake from which Israel never recovered. Lord, I don't want to be foolish like Rehoboam. I want to be merciful like you. Lead me in the way I should go. Amen.